Hello and welcome to another video. I recently visited the Instavolt EV charging super hub just outside Winchester and I wanted to show you guys what it has to offer. So it's in a great location, it's just off the A34 and not very far from the M3 uh, just outside of Winchester. The site itself is one of the largest dedicated EV charging hubs in the country at time of recording, providing 44 CCS 160 kilowatt chargers uh, and along with nine Chadamo chargers. This site has been opened just in time for Easter and offers various facilities including a Starbucks coffee. One of the other facilities is these extra long bays, four of which, and these are for towing vehicles, so if you've got a caravan or towing a trailer, you can pull in straight into these bays without having to unhitch uh, and get a good full charge. This is great to see and it'd be great to have more of these around the country. This site is also supported by a huge solar array and battery storage along with renewable energy from Octopus Energy. Walking around the site I could see there were several accessible access charging bays along with additional parking at the back of the site for non-EV cars. So you don't have to be an EV to come here, you can just come here and enjoy the Starbucks coffee. As you can see there's plenty of seating outside to enjoy the sunshine. There's a children's park to the back end of the Starbucks along with toilets. The Starbucks is just a standard, typical Starbucks, nothing really to here to show. This site has now been added to Zap Map, which gives you further information and charger availability. These chargers accept payment via RFID card, like the Electroverse card, or payment via the Instavolt app, or contactless via debit card. But as you can see, there's a £45 pre authorization fee, which is pretty steep, along with the day rate of 87 pence per kilowatt hour. So is this the future of EV charging? Let me know in the comments, I'd really like to know what you think. Or should we be looking at other options like rolling out more destination chargers rather than the ultra rapid chargers that seem to be popping up all over the country. Also let me know if this is a site you'd look to use or are there facilities that are missing and that you'd have loved to have seen being installed by Instavolt. If you're not looking to use this site, please let me know why, what would put you off coming to this site. So I'm going to wrap this short video up now. If you found this content useful, then please feel free to give it a like. Also, please let me know in the comments if this is the sort of content you'd like to see, as I have several other videos in the pipeline. So please feel free to subscribe so you don't miss those upcoming videos. Anyway, thank you for watching and until next time, catch you later.